Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to read the coordinates. Okay, if you've seen this before on the rig during rig move, okay, and these are the coordinates that usually reflects inside the uh, rig move procedure, you know, in the geophysics report, geotechnical report, you know. So, um, the reason I start I uh, want to show you guys uh, how to read the coordinates because uh, there's one time that I asked the barge master and in fact <laughs> he have told me this symbol and this symbol you know what what is this you know so when I start teaching him actually how to read the coordinate and in fact he was like arguing with me and he said this is in feet and this is in inches I said oh my goodness so this is um, latitude longitude the way the correct way to read is uh, okay this is latitude okay zero four degree degree yeah this is degree 15 minutes okay this is read at 15.53 minutes okay and longitude 112 degrees 33 minutes now 33.49 minutes okay normally this type of configuration and without showing the seconds at the front uh, at, at the back is this is normally reflect on the GPS you know so on GPS normally you see this you don't see the seconds okay so why that is a second right second is actually is actually to expand more uh, on the it's more expand on the distance you know it's, you see even though one second right one second is actually quite far you know it's not just what you say what's a one second on your watch is one second that is quick right so for coordinates you need to know how to calculate as well you know what is one minute equivalent to how long you know and one second is actually how long okay so remember this is not feet and this is not inch okay so this is in minutes and this is in seconds all right so okay now I show you the conversion yeah conversion of the uh, in in degree to minutes and minutes to seconds right so how to convert this right if you see now 15.53 right and this is 30 15 minutes and 31.8 seconds okay so what do you think about these two latitude and longitude right are they the same or are they the different location okay so this both are the same actually is this this is the same it's only the conversion that makes you think that this is not the same location actually it's the same location this is only they run it up just two minutes without seconds but it's 0.53 and if you expand it you convert it it become the 0.53 become 31.8 seconds similarly to longitude like 33.49 minutes is actually 33 minutes 29.4 seconds okay so how to convert yeah, do the conversion all right so the conversion is one degree is equivalent to 60 minutes okay and one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds all right so to convert it to uh, seconds right so what you need to do is just put just uh, forget about 15 just get up 0 0.53 okay and you should take out your calculator 0 0.53 and you times 60 seconds right so in one minute is actually 60 seconds so just point five three minutes times 60 seconds and you get 31.8 okay so let, let me show you okay so now you can understand how to read the coordinate accordingly remember is not fit is not second okay <laughs> this is a latitude longitude for the earth right it's not what you're going to measure your casing one feet two three inch or 
uh, 35 feet uh. so this is not the length that you would normally measure on deck and this is for the coordinates of the earth okay all right so this is the conversion one degree to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds all right okay the conversion of one nautical mile is equivalent to 100 and 1852 meters okay so one knot when you hear the speed of one knot is actually equal to one nautical mile per hour so meaning to say when the rig is moving at one knot so she is travel 1852 meters an hour okay so it's about 1.8 kilometer okay so when we say two knots mean we are moving like two nautical miles an hour and three knots is equivalent to three nautical miles an hour okay so this is the uh, nautical term that we normally use uh, during rig move okay so don't get confused right so i show you example right okay speed right speed normally we we measure in knot okay so one nautical mile is actually equivalent to what one nautical mile is equivalent to 1882 meters okay so in let's say one knot when the rig is moving with one knot okay so meaning to say you are moving one nautical mile in one hour okay so if you convert to one nautical mile is equal to 180 1852 meters so this is how fast you can move or how slow you can move in one hour is only 1852 meters probably you can run faster than this okay so if you want to bring it down to in minutes this is just normally this is just mathematics you know so 182 divided by 60 minutes so this is one hour divide two into one minute so you are moving like let's say one knot speed of the rate is actually moving 30.9 meters which is 31 meters per minute okay so similarly this is the speed y 0.77 knots okay so some of the rate that the criteria is actually you don't exceed 0.77 knots this is based on the calculation it never are calculation you know and then you put a criteria for the rate is you do not exceed the 0.77 knots um, when you depart from a location when you arrive you know so this is the speed of the current ocean current okay it's not the rate speed it's the ocean current but anyway this is just example huh? so 0.77 knots you're moving 0.77 knot you are moving at 0.77 nautical mile per hour which is if you convert to in meter is 1426 meters okay so divide by 60 minutes so you're moving like 23.8 meter per minute so this is how you calculate your speed and if you're not sure you can actually narrow down to meters just like half a knot okay you have 926 meters an hour so divide by 60 minutes so it's 15.4 meter per minute so this is the calculation i normally do before i depart sometime because I have to cross the pipeline you know sometimes the pipeline is so near to me so i need to know how long i need to hold the rig in position before i actually bring the rig across the pipeline so i normally like to have the spark can above the pipeline at 10 meters before i actually cross it so i need to control with the three boats this is sometimes you have to justify that you need more boats because you need to control the rig within the the, you know, the, the pipeline the, the some of the rig is surrounded by pipeline so you need to maintain the rig okay so it's not easy to maintain the rig but but this at least these are some of the technical stuff that you can do up front you know, before you move the rig then this is the thing that you can calculate up front okay all right so uh, if you guys want to learn more what is uh, longitude and latitude you just comment below uh, if you guys not interested then it's no point for me to to teach you well uh, how uh, actually what is latitude what is longitude because latitude and longitude, if you are ex mariner I'm very sure you know in and out about this. Yeah? I mean, the mariners mean not the offshore mariners, okay? Sometimes the offshore mariners, they never learn about latitude and longitude. You know, they are coming from a rust about, they're coming from a crane operator, 
and they become barge masters. So if you are from mariners that who have actually sailed on the ships before, I don't need to teach you about this, you know very well. It's just that if you guys from the offshore that you want to learn what is longitude and latitude, you can actually comment below. I can make another video and teach you guys. Okay? So that's the end of the video for today. And today also is our first day of uh, MCO, which is second stage already uh, in Malaysia. And today is the first day of MCO. So I start at home and I have time. I just do a bit of video and share with everybody. Okay? Okay, one more thing. Sorry, I uh, forget to tell you guys. Okay, this is the um, the location. Normally, this appear in a rigmo procedure. Okay, so you can see uh, you have zero four degree forty six minutes fifty five point six eight five second north. Right? See, this is very precise. You see, you go until decimal of seconds because we want the accuracy for rigmo. Okay, this is open water. Location I have to really delete it. I don't want you guys to see what is this. And this is a Timbalai. Okay, Timbalai 1948. Okay, this is a local datum. Okay, WGS 84 is a datum. Timbalai also a local datum, right? So this is 04 degree 46 58.641 seconds. So you can see approximately we have a three seconds difference. Okay, and also on the longitude you got it's quite a lot. You can see this is about 11 seconds, 11 and a half seconds difference. Okay, so what is local datum? What is WGS84? Okay, so I have a lot of friends right now, yeah, for doing this uh, positioning. And I can show you these other faces, okay? Okay, so these are the faces that they know very well on the coordinate, coordinates, yeah, about local datum, you know. WGS84. I hope one of them they will call me if they see this video. They call me, then I will have a, uh, let's say like a, a online yeah online meeting with them, and they can explain to us what is local data versus WGS84. Okay, so I hope one of these will call me. Yeah, Imzani. Okay, you three. Okay, Raymond. Miro, Amir, Jibam, and Mr. Hasli. Okay, so Jibam, his name is uh, Cairo. Okay, so I hope one of you call me, then we can discuss online. We record it and we put it on YouTube, and you can learn about what is what is a local datum and what is the JS84. Okay, so see you guys in the next uh, video. Okay, and thank you, thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you.